Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to take Udemy courses online, but you're trying to figure out how to get those classes for free, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering just that in this video. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight in. So don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now, we'll jump in and make this very, very quick. Most public libraries and universities work with Udemy to offer this Udemy for business. So it's not every Udemy class, but it's a very large number of classes. So right here is an example of a library's landing page, so Denver Public Library. So to find this, typically you can go to Google and you basically type in something along the lines of whatever public library Udemy. So in this case, I just typed in Udemy Denver Public Library. The first link here takes us straight to this page that I was just at. And then typically you can just sign up for the card there. Now bear in mind that you have to find a public library near you because you will need an address and often most public libraries will actually give you a temporary card and you'll have to go in in some capacity with a photo ID to verify your residence. So if you're using a temporary card and you don't live in that area, then that account will essentially just cancel out at a certain point and you'll basically just lose the access. So, uh, for example, I got a Udemy account when one area, when I moved that account, the access was removed and now I can't access the information. So you may want to make sure that you have something long standing. So basically just try to find a library near you. A lot of them will allow you to sign up online. So again, you just type in the name of the library or the university near you, find the link and it'll typically take you to the login page. You can usually go to gale.udemy.com and then it will bring you to a landing page like this where you can sign in. So I don't access my account. I will look into this in an incognito window on Chrome. So I just typed in gale.udemy.com and you'll see here is the landing page. So what you can do is you can click on university, K-12, or public library, and then you can type in the name of a library. So if we wanted to type in Denver, for example, and you'll see all of the different libraries that come up. So if we were to choose the Denver Public Library, we can choose this option and it'll take you here where you can actually enter in the card number and the password. So this is just the information that is from your public library card. So this authenticates. So when you type in your information and click submit, you'll use Gmail account or some, some email account to sign up and that will be how you'll sign in moving forward. So you'll just save that URL. So in essence, what you do is you're going to go to Google, try to find a public library near you or your university or school, and then you'll set up your account through them, making sure that, of course, you're accessing the legitimate websites, and then you'll just go to gale.udemy.com like we just did and sign in using those credentials, and you should be able to access your Udemy for Business account. Now, again, Udemy for Business does not have access to all Udemy classes, but it has a very, very large number. So you'll see here... It shows you quite a bit of content when you look at gale.udemy.com. You'll see tons of different video courses and collections. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.